Hello, time for another week on. Uh, and now this one takes a little bit of explanation because there are very strict rules to it. You can't just dive straight in kind of like I normally do with a week on. Um, as you may be able to see from the website, I'm doing a week on Slimming World, which um, if you go by a lot of the uh, the magazines and the website, it appears to be uh, a diet plan aimed at like 40 plus women. But um, after having done some research, um, it is sort of predominantly women that apparently do it, but um, men do it as well. So uh, let's see if I do get some results. The the results, from what I can see, are going to be one of two ways. Either nothing's going to change weight-wise, or I'm going to lose nine stone by the end of the first week. Um, but yes, let me firstly go through the rules, because there are a lot of rules. There is a, a lot of planning, a lot of recipes, a lot of meticulous details you need to go through. So let me kind of hopefully, having done my research, go over the rules and kind of let you know what I'm going to be facing during the next week. There are three different ways of doing Slimming World, red, green and EE. I'm going to be doing EE as it offers the biggest variety and has the least restrictions. But according to people who have done Slimming World, the results can still be great even after one week. Food is essentially categorised. There's free food such as fruit, veg, lean meat and even pasta, rice and potato, so load up on those carbs. You can eat as much free food as you'd like, so just load up on it, I suppose. The second type of food is sinned food. Sins are essentially the bits you usually miss on a diet. Basically fats and sugars. You're allowed 15 sins a day on the EE plan, which is pretty good, as a dairy milk bar is 13 sins, and it means you can end up having a lot of treats either in one big hit or scattered throughout the day. The general rule is that 20 calories of naughtiness equals one sin, so make sure you're counting. There's also healthy extras, healthy extra A being dairy, so 30 grams of cheese or 250 mils of milk, and healthy extra B being bread and cereal, so 2 slices of wholemeal bread or 30 grams of bran flakes. It's a little bit stingy, but it is a diet after all, so I guess it could be worse. So that's Slimming World in a nutshell. I'm sure there's probably some finer details I've missed out. Um, please leave angry comments below, like some of you tend to do on my week -ons. Um But this is going to be interesting. I'm not saying this one's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be interesting. There's going to be a lot of cooking involved from scratch, because you can't just buy a pre-made lasagna and it not contain a thousand sins, apparently. Um, but why don't you join me? over the next seven days, and I'm going to find out if I can cook. Spoiler warning, probably not. But first, it's time for the favorite part of any week on, and that's jumping on the scales, so. Marvelous. Let's see what we have to fight against. 15, 5.8. So there we go, yes, leave your very mean comments below, I'm made of steel, I don't care. <laughs> okay, but uh, it's time for breakfast, so what's on the menu? So because the meals are all planned out for the day and the week, uh, I have to work around the sins, so I have a nice sin-free breakfast, so we know fruit is sin-free, and also this uh, Muller Light yoghurt, even though it is 99 calories, is uh, fat-free, so it counts as being sin-free, so I could have a thousand of these and it'd be okay, apparently. So um, we know what apples and oranges taste like, so I'll have them in a second. Um, but here's a nice Muller Light, so let's try this cherry yoghurt. Doing uh, yoghurt reviews on the internet. Breaking new ground. <laughs> yep, definitely a yoghurt. Hello, Basil. Is it your adoptiversary today? Yeah? Have we had you for exactly a year? Are you purposefully not looking at me, trying to ignore me? Yeah? Happy Adoptiversary, Basil. I have another yoghurt here, but this time I'm not just going to have it as is. Uh, I'm going to do one of the many things that uh, Slimming World enjoys doing and creating a kind of cheat sweet, as it were, um, by creating like hard jelly sweets using yogurt and jelly and gelatin. Um, so this should be interesting. Uh, I have my glamorous assistant um, joining me, Grace. Say hello. Hello. And um, yes, let's get cracking. So first off, the gelatin. Two sachets of gelatin, which 
seems like a lot go in. And also our pack of sugar-free jelly. It's important that it's sugar-free, so then it's sin-free uh, in its raspberry flavour. So that all goes in. It smells very sweet. It's sugar -free. Now this is what Slimming World called tweets. So it's kind of like having food as it's not intended. And we have half a pint of boiling water go in. And then, yes, we wait for everything to dissolve. How are we looking? Is that all dissolved? Pretty much. Yeah, so we then pour half into a mould, which is just going to be a Tupperware box. So in that goes. It's about half, is it? Uh, yeah, that's half. So we wait for that to set slightly, and then we move on to the next stage. So whilst that jelly's in the fridge doing its thing, we then add the yoghurt. Slowly. <laughs> to, the, to, to the jelly mix. Uh, this looks yeah. like something that would come out of you whilst giving birth, but it smells nice. I actually kind of expected it to like curdle. So I'm glad that it hasn't. Mmm. It smells right. Mm. Very raspberry. Raspberry. It is now double raspberry, so. so that's set, so um, pour on the raspberry. I reckon that's, that's thicker than the other layer, so it's probably going to take, what, an hour maybe a bit more yeah. to set, so I'll shove it back in the fridge and we'll see what it looks like. Here we go. It has set. So do you want to do the honours and yeah. uh, take it out? Wow. Is it? Is there layers? Is it layered? Well, hang on. I can't see the layers. Flop. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> yes. It feels like jelly. Very solid jelly. It's very solid. So cut it into like sweet sized pieces. That's candy for the American audience out there. You done now? Can I eat one? Yeah. Me. I think that's what it looks like. Mm. Good layers. There is a lot of gelatin in there. It's very gelatin in the knee. As in, they're chewy. Like the t yeah, it's quite chewy. They don't taste like um, Harry Bow. Consistency though, they just taste like really solid jelly. Oh, yeah, no, they taste nothing like, or they have the texture even is nothing like, like gummy sweets, but they are nice though. They look great and they taste really nice, but, but I wouldn't say they're like so much a substitute for actual sweets. No, but they may like, I, I think I prefer, can I peel these away? <laughs> oh, not really. I think I prefer the yogurt part. No, I prefer the other part. Well. We won't get into any arguments then, will we, about who eats no. what? Okay. Thank you. Cheers. And before I forget, the entire amount is one and a half sins, so it's pretty good. It's lunchtime. Um, it's Sunday, the day we're filming this, and um, yes, hungry. Only had yoghurt and fruit, and a variation of yoghurt as a snack, so time to cook some food. That was a weird way of saying time to cook some food. What's for lunch, Grace? <coughs> oh, <laughs> mixed grill. <laughs> that must be a lot of meat. It's heavy. The way that you put that there. So, um, yes, this is diet food, isn't it? We've got yeah. gammon, steak, chicken, mixed grill. We're also going to do some chips and what is it? Egg? Eggs. Egg. Yes, this is this is not going to be With diet food. With bodybuilding, apparently. Yes, there's nothing but protein. <laughs> Loving that protein. So next up is some homemade fat-free chips. Um, which have just been microwaved just to kind of cook them through a little bit for a few minutes. They're then sprayed with oil and seasoned. Let me throw them in the oven. About 45 minutes. So the chicken is cooking. 
The gammon is in the oven having been grilled and all the fat taken off, so it's keeping warm. Uh, the steak will go on with a few minutes to go so then we can rest it. And at some point in all that we will also find time to fry an egg. So, it's all go. This is a lot of work. Well, I don't know about you, but that does not look like diet food. But it does look like good food, so I'm very happy about that. Nice bit of steak. Mm. Mm -mm. I can feel the pound melting off. Uh, we were also supposed to have peas with this, but um, in the excitement of cooking it all, we, uh, we forgot, so. Good way of doing chips, these. Nice and crunchy. Semi good for you, I guess. A lot less oil they're cooked in, anyway. About two cents for the ketchup, so I'll take the hit on that. Whoa, lovely. Mm. Good start to the diet, I'd say. Well, that was lovely, and filling, and meaty, and didn't feel at all like diet food. Um, probably could have done with the veg, but alas, we forgot. Whoops, do you have fake Haribo, though? Oh, maybe a bit too much gelatin, <laughs> chewy, but nice, so who cares? Do some work for a bit, seemed a bit heavy on me, on my belly, all that meat, but it was nice, really, really good lunch, so, so I'm going to do some stuff now, and then I'll catch up with you at dinner time. Yummy! Good old British beans. Get him. Yeah. So, after all that protein and stodge for lunch, it's now half past eight in the evening, so a very late dinner. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty simple one. Of beans on toast with some cheese, so I'm going to use my healthy extra A and healthy extra B in the form of uh, two slices of bread and some cheese on my beans. So looking forward to this, uh, although not starving, but uh, yeah, need to get some food and this will do nicely. So there's uh, two slices of buttered toast. I'm gonna call that five sins for the butter on each. Then on with the beans. Lovely stuff. A bit stingy with the beans. You've taken on a good, all the beans. Sorry. Very bean hoggish of you. You don't need any more beans. No, but I would like a cheese. No, you put it on your face. It's fine. I'm trying to do this one handed, like the good YouTuber that I is. Thanks. Well, there we go. Beans and toast. Well, that was day one. I am thoroughly stuffed, and I didn't really eat that much kind of volume-wise. Um, obviously, it was a bit of a slow start for breakfast, then, a, well, it was a pretty huge lunch, uh, and then good old-fashioned British beans on toast for dinner, which you can't go wrong with. I bloody love beans on toast. Um, and that takes it up to, it was five sins for the butter, two sins for the ketchup, Call it a sin for the fake Haribo, not Haribo sweets. Uh, so that's eight. So I've got another seven to play with. So I'm going to have three of these, which um, these are about, uh, it, well, it's 70 calories for two, which means three is just going to call it 100, which is going to be five sins uh, at uh, 20 calories for one sin. So it's going to be five sins for three of these. That'll push me thereabouts to my sin limit. Um, so I'm going to enjoy these. These are very small red velvet Kit Kats, which I've had before. Very, very nice. Very small and easy to sort of portion control. But um, day one was a breeze. I'm not seeing this really as a challenge. More of just a uh, let's see how it goes. Let's see what kind of cheats and tweaks and recipes are offered on Slimming World, and then kind of what happens at the end of the week, how much I've lost or not lost. We'll see after all that meat and carbs today. But there we go. 
Really good day, really good start. If you want to see how the rest of this week goes, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel and check out the subsequent days, which I'm sure are going to be very, very interesting because, um, yeah, one of the dinners is going to be weird.